Afternoon folks, I think I'm in need of some Christmas cheer today. I'm having a bit of a Christmas lull. I've just had a bit of a meh morning, really. I went to the job centre this morning, um, which I thought was just one of the regular checkup things, because I'm on the support category back to work. When I was in Oxford, I had to see the job centre quite regularly just to help me out so I could get some kind of volunteer work and stuff like that. And I thought that today was about reinstating that uh, on my back to work plan, but no, it turns out that somebody's made a complaint about me and has reported me saying that um, I was working and that I had a partner. Well, um, as you know, I most definitely don't have a partner. I split up with my partner six months ago. And as for working, no, I just do volunteer work. I don't do any paid work. I wish I did, but it's just not an option for me at the moment, you know, with um, recovery still ongoing and surgery still ongoing. It's just, you know, it's just not, not an option for me. So I'm just feeling a bit sad today, really, that somebody would do that. You know, it's clearly not a mistake. It's somebody that um, just wanted to make a complaint about me. So, yeah, I'm feeling a bit bruised today, really. It just hurts because, you know, I do everything I can to try and deal with things in a really healthy way and to get myself back to work. And I am finding Christmas really tough, which is why I've been doing these vlogs, really, because I'm trying to keep myself upbeat because it, this isn't an easy time you know as as much as I know I need to be single and it, it's it's right for me you know as awful as it all was I can see that there is a need for me to be single but that doesn't stop it being painful you know there's I'm so good at just smiling and being okay because that's what I do I have to I have to be okay because the other option just isn't an option you know I cannot go back to that horrible dark place I was in and as the saying goes you are as happy as you make your mind up to be so I make my mind up to be and I work really hard so it's just it's just sad when I don't know maybe someone's been watching this or there's somebody from my past that I don't know but whatever it's um the important thing is <laughs> the people that truly know me know me and yeah i know i'm not alone at christmas and i know i've got so much love and support you know i get through what i get through because of all you lot you know i've i muddle through on benefits and i've been incredibly blessed by the help of you lot out there at times when i've needed it and you know, oh, I don't know. Anyway, bleh, it's just left me feeling a bit meh today, to say the least. It's just sad, really, isn't it, that somebody would want to do that. But there you go. That's my little mini Christmas rant. I just needed to get it off my chest to you lot, and I just needed a big Christmas hug. Um, So, yeah, I was just checking in. Anyway, I'm going to put the kettle on, have a cup of tea... And then let's open a Christmas card together that just turned up. I'm getting used to not showing you the front of the envelope now, so I don't give away my address. <gasps> um, I'm, I'm doing this opening just in... I, I've, I've put my first present under the tree for my best mate. It's my first present under the tree. My tree, can you see him up there with my display, with my sheep balls? It's just the most ridiculous Christmas tree. I keep getting deja vu every time I talk about my Christmas tree, which is quite strange. But anyway, I keep forgetting I've got this lovely chocolate, this this lovely LGBT chocolate. Let's not call it gay chocolate, because the rainbow has many more of us under it than just gay people. So it's LGBT money. Rainbow money. Rainbow money. Anyway, I digress. Hang on, let's put my present back under the tree. Lovely. Right, OK, so I have a card. It's got quite interesting stamps on this. Ooh. And it's from... I think that's Ireland. I'm not very good at geography. Let's just open it and find out. 
<laughs> oh, I can see an antler. It's always good when you can see an antler. I do like a reindeer. I like snowmen, but I do like a reindeer. I would have liked a snowman jumper. I thought it was from you, Rain. Oh, thank you. Like from Rain and Kit. That's lovely. I've got quite a nice little display of Christmas cards now. Would you like to see them? Hang on. Look. We've got quite a few up here. They will go on my postcard wall at some point. But obviously because it's Christmas I wanted them there. And I've got some over here as well. Lovely, lovely. I just saw the boys up briefly but they went again. It's quite cold today so I think they just keep hiding. I was actually going to change them today because they're due a change and I want to do it before Christmas. But I think that might have to be tomorrow because it's now five past one in the afternoon and I still need to eat because I've not eaten yet. It's so bad because I was rushing around this morning and I need to wrap my sponsor's presents. I'm off to see my sponsor and his wife this afternoon for Christmas um, pizza, which is lovely, and to go for a, meet a meeting. I might see if you'll come on film. I don't think he will, but I might show you his dogs at the very least because his dogs and cats are lovely, lovely. So I best go eat. Right, I thought it was time to do some more wrapping and see if I can't improve on my last attempt. This one is much more square. So hopefully we'll have more luck with it. I can show you what this is because my sponsor now he might see this and he might not open it till Christmas. So now I can't show you what it is. Sorry, but you can help me wrap it. Now, I was saying that I like a snowman. So, and I like green. Let's have They're rather jolly snowmen, aren't they? Um, oh, I did have sellotape as well. I don't want to done with that. That could be... Got it! Right, as I'm lower down now, I should have more luck. <laughs> Much better than my last attempt. I've got them one of these thingies. The the panacottas, ponchiettas, ponticillas, ponky pon <laughs> ponchet ponchetta. Anyway, I got them a really nice red Christmassy plant. Did you just see something fly at me? Did something just fly at me? Did it just fly at me? I think we're okay. Right, so there's no... Oh, it's a reflection. <laughs> I do have something exciting to share, actually. This is really exciting. I don't know if you know, if you've been watching the Fin Fam and stuff, I'm not very good with plants, but this year was a turning point for me in plants. I'm doing okay. I've now got one, two, th three in the windowsill, four, four plants I did have a cactus and I killed it right hmm so I repotted it and everyone said it probably wouldn't do anything and can you see it's just focused the little green in the middle my cactus is coming back to life that's amazing a, it's amazing that I actually managed to kill a cactus, and B, it's amazing that I somehow managed to revivate, revivitate. Where's my words? Re re Cactus is back to life. 
hey folks i've just got in i know i said i was going to take you with me to my sponsors but he picked me up suddenly and i forgot to put you in my bag so very sorry you didn't get to see the doglets and the cat but you're seeing me now so yeah i've just got home we had a really nice evening i went round for dinner and then we went to a meeting which has really helped and i wanted to share the card that my sponsor's wife got for me because it's just blooming lovely now the card itself is funny anyway look it says merry christmas four calling birds three french hens two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree now that's what tom called a christmas dinner very apt in itself and inside so amazing i was so touched by this she has written this wonderful poem. Now this is one from my postcard wall. So it says to Finn, a special poem by, for a special friend. I'm not gonna say her name. I should read this to you. I speak of a fellow named Finn, who's not what he'd formerly been. He's now helping others, converting to brothers by showing the way to begin. I just thought that was so, so lovely. It's just been a really lovely way to end what started off as a really quite miserable day. You know, it reminds me of what's important. You know, I have so much love in my life and so much appreciation from people that matter. And, and that is what's really important. So, yeah, I'm sorry today hasn't been the most upliftingly Christmas vlog in the world, but it's been honest, which is what I do. I am honest about what goes on. So there you go. But finishing the day off with that it's just wonderful so yes night night from us